Hello, hello, hello. It should be. Eh? Hello? Yep, there it goes. Stream is up. Stream is up. We're going to be doing an art stream today. Because I need to go ahead and get some shit done with this. Uh, this is a picture that I've been working on. As of late. Uh, it was the, the character was originally for a tattoo idea, but I have no idea what the fuck I want to do with it has a tattoo. So I just want to try and, uh, do something with it for a, uh, is it control V? It's control V. Uh, I'm going to tweet this out like I usually do. So it's 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 originally a uh yeah it, like I said it's originally a picture and drawing that I want to do for a tattoo, but right now I'm just trying to figure out like this what I got right here so far is just a uh sorry I can't I can't type and I'm just bad at doing multiple things at once like like multitasking. So, yeah, so last night I was testing out some colors and whatever else is doing a very broad spectrum of uh, different ways to hold, to, ha to have my background and everything for it. Because I, I want to have a, what's it, a decent uh, fucking, what's it called? Hmm. Uh, fucking thing, a fucking a thing, a fucking background, a decent looking background, so I can get a basis for it. And I had like three or four different ideas, but like I didn't know what I wanted to do with her. There's a lot that you that I could that I'm thinking of, but I can't actually think of. And our internet has been out was out for a day after a uh, a storm and some tornadoes and shit. So I was sitting here drawing. With no references or of, of anything, so I was just going off, going like, doing this shit out of my ass. Yeah. Oh fuck, you feel? So like I had originally, just started out with this. Might be a little bit harder to see. On the actual stream, uh, it doesn't look like it's too hard to see, but I was starting out with this, and. I don't know. I don't, I don't remember where I got the inspiration from it. I just started drawing it one day. I just remember being. I just remember drawing it. It had a couple of references. I have. I have a lot of trouble drawing the uh, female anatomy in general. Male anatomy, I have no problem with. I can draw hands. I can. I can draw hands. I can draw. Fem I can draw female faces and you know whatever else. It's just. Drawing women in general can be a problem for me because I didn't spend my time learning the anatomy of women like uh, drawing wise like I, I understand this the skeleton and the muscles and whatever else but it's Everything else that I have a problem with is like the skin and how everything functions not, not, not functions but how everything is supposed to fall gravity is a big thing with it. It took me like 15 20 minutes to get the fucking left tit looking okay you feel uh, <laughs> but I'm trying to I started out with this this layer I wanted to figure out how I was going to get it to work right how to get the stone looking right or how I need to change the stone in general that's something I needed to do to change it up. So like I'm, it's like I'm just gonna go ahead and do like whatever, and just see what I come up with. Cause I, I I've been thinking about it nonstop ever since I started actually doing something with the background. So I need to put this up to a seventy size, but I still want that stone up here. I just wanted to, to change the shape. I wanted it to look like it's, I wanted it to look like it's been eroded. 
So like, I don't want it to look as bulky. I just want it to be able to frame the picture. Like, for like maybe, mm, that's what I think. It's also that, it's also, I'm gonna put this up higher so I can see it better. But like, I need to, I need to have it to where it's still going to be able to like frame the image, but it's got to look like it's been sitting in, sitting here for a good long while. Like I don't just want it to be flat. I want it to have some texture to it. I want it to have something. And it's just, I don't know. Like I, I like the way that I actually really like the way that this one looks, because it looks like the like for a I want it I want it to be like she's on a river, but I need to look up some references. So I was doing this, I did this, and like I want it to look like the uh, sun is shining through the water, and you can see like the gravel and everything else on the bottom of it. But it's I don't know if I want to do this as like a full painting. Or use line art for the entire thing. I feel like if I use line art for it, I might lose something. I might, I won't lose as much. But if I do painting, I feel like I might lose something just with the color in general. Because I'm not, ugh, I'm not too comfortable with painting in general. But like when it comes to portraits, that's a little, that's a little bit different. Portraits have a distinct shape to them, like cloth, like over here, like this cloth, this this wrap around. Like, this is just, like, very hastily drawn, and I just need to be able, like, this part here was very, like, okay, there's just, this is just going to be a bunch up here, or it's going to be, like, frills or something, but I need to look up, I need to find the picture that I have, should be in art, uh, like, I don't have a problem with painting, I just, what the fuck is it? Uh, yeah, here it is. Okay, uh, let's see. Open with... Not Photoshop. Windows Photo Viewer. I should just open it up like that. Like, right here. This should come in pretty soon. Let's see. Yeah, it came in. This is a portrait I did of a friend of mine back in, like, five years ago. And, like, I don't have a problem with painting in general. I just need... It's, it's some of the basic concepts of it that I have some trouble with, like, uh, the, the color theory and stuff like that. Like, uh, let's see, open with when it's been video photo viewer. It's like this one still has the line art on it. This one I did two years ago. I was in this weird rut where I just wanted to fucking, uh, do beloved children characters and like a horror based way. Like, I'm still not, I'm still not too happy with this. Like I'm kind of happy, but not fully happy. There's some things that definitely gonna change. Like this bitch's eye. Where's it? Where's my, my mouse is over here. Like right here. I can't. Oh, I can zoom in like this. So like you can see all the fucking lines and shit I put into this bitch, and all like the actual detail, or whatever. But, like this eye. I wish I colored that differently. I wish I would have colored that not blue, because now it doesn't stand out as much. It just makes it look fucking weird as shit. Cause I wanted to have the pupil. I wanted to have a pupil looking up, make it look like it was discolored, but like you, you can still see some. You can still see some some of the lines in here. Is it gonna focus? No, that's that's probably the pixelization of the image in general. But like I was working on this for a, a good long while. It's just like even that's fucked up. Fuck. Uh, but I wanted to do something with that. Cause like, including this, like this has been uh details can i see can i see details on here or is it gonna be the properties it's in the properties this is three years old oh fuck i gotta look at this let's see no no not share fuck off fuck off uh open with photo viewer this is a picture of sailor pluto i was doing back a couple years back that I need to get that man. I was gonna paint as well, but mm, as an artist, I'm just completely fucking shit. I remember to do shit. I'm just I just can't think. And like like even now, I'm 
just distracting myself with these other things. Her waist is really small. I need to fix that. And this, that's, that's gonna bother me for a long time. The waist is small. Like everything else is proportionally fine. I don't need to. That's not fine though. That little area here. Look at that. It's bent out of shape. I use a line tool for that, so that's why it's all fucked up. Everything else is fine. I, I just don't do line tool shit. Like this is probably like. Yeah, this this that 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 needs to be fixed. This this needs to be widened out a bit, and then I need to redraw some parts of it, erase some parts, do whatever with it. But uh, yeah, I have a lot of trouble with shit like this. I just want to try to get it better, and I want to be able to change the way that this looks because I now have internet, so I can look up references. Let's see. Images. Give me the images, bitch. I want to see a good image of a river. I'll go ahead and bring this up for you guys as well, so you guys can see what I'm looking at. Because I want to be able to find something that's going to look good. I want that windy looking, like not, not like this, but like it gets cut off by one edge. So I can use it for something. Almost. But n not like, mm, maybe the same perspective as this. But more of these colors with the water. Maybe it's more. No, I needed the water to be clearer. I want it to be like your. Mm, like your. Mm, shit, freshwater river. That's what that's that's what I really want to see. Cause a lot of rivers out here in Missouri are actually pretty clear for the most part, at least. But I want to be able to see there's something along the lines of that. This is a nice split. This is something that I was looking at. Not, not what I mean, I wasn't looking at, but kind of something that I was looking for. Maybe I'll go ahead and use that as a reference of some kind. I don't want all the rocks and shit like that. I want to have a somewhat sandy looking uh, shit sandbar. It's a, it's a sandbar. I want some kind of sandbar. Along the edge of it to help uh, lighten the area. This image is also really nice. It really shows how the uh, the like lighting effects for good for good images because like with um with canvases in general, you uh what the fuck. Uh, good images have this, like, well, this is what I was trying to do here. The good images, they are, excuse me, they are brighter in the background and darker in the foreground. So I want to add, I want to make the front of it darker with the, with the way that the, that the shadow is and everything else, make it look like the sunlight is coming out from the back. Instead of directly onto her, but she'll have like she'll be pale enough to where it looks like she's uh, she sta she she stands out against the fore against the foreground. The midground is going to be somewhat is going to have some sunlight, whatever else like that, which is what these brighter colors of yellow are. And I want to be able to find a way to make the water look like it's reflecting. I'm not uh, drawing water is hard enough as it is, let alone drawing water like that drawing 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 water with a uh reflection of some kind because she's she's gonna she's gonna be reflected in here so i have to figure out how to do that it's not gonna be too too much of a reflection but enough to where you can see what the fuck is like it's actually fucking water because if you don't have a reflection in the water then you're kind of screwing yourself over it because that's not that's not how water works it's eh. That's just me. And why is this fucking stabilizer on an S6? It should be on an S7. Okay, so we need to figure out... So looking at that, because like, I don't want it to be... Maybe I do want it to be that that severe of an, of an arc. Because I do want that... So if I have it down here, and have it... Uh, this is on a different layer, so I'm so I'm able to do something, you know, 
just like do something wild with it or whatever. I can just erase it later. I actually want to see if this works. Nope, that's alt. No, nope. Nope, okay. Uh, these are my Wacom tablet properties. Functions. I wanted these. So why isn't it working? Oh wait. Oh, okay. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. So if I press, ha! -ha! <laughs> okay, so now, 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 now I don't need to reach for my Alt Z, my Control Z. All artists, and all digital artists know what that is. So I need to figure out how I want this to kind of like how the sandbar hits the water over here. Because I don't want it to be, I don't want the sandbar to be steep or anything like that. I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna be needing to add a lot of light down here because that's as far as it's gonna go. I might need to add some different, like a different variation of color over here to really make it stand out a bit. So let's go ahead and find an angle for this. So I kind of want it. Do I want it to be down here, or do I want it to fade off completely? We'll see how it goes. So I want it kind of like that, to where I can have the background in the image as well, like standing out quite a bit. That seems a little, that doesn't seem good enough for me, to me at least. So let's go ahead and redraw that fucking rock. I, I like the way that rock looks. Fuck off. Uh, I want to figure out how I want. I might. I don't like the way that it looked. I don't. I, so, I just don't. So let's go ahead and try a different approach to that. Have it come out straighter. And then let's go ahead and rotate it back, and get an angle from there. I like the, actually, I like that one, but I think I'm liking this one a little bit more. I don't know. Let's see. That does seem a bit better. I just want to make sure it looks connected over here. It's really hard just to think. I don't want, actually no, I want that to be a little bit higher. with the come out right, right here and come up so now we have almost a sh almost a sheer fire straight with some deviations we just need enough deviation to make it look like it's uh, natural but this is a little bit now this, like down at the bottom of the rock is where it would actually look a lot more flat. So let's go ahead and make it look, maybe it needs to protrude a bit up here. And let's get rid of that and see if it... Is it looking better like this? Looks weird. There's not enough of a protrusion, but so this is my original sandbar, all the way up there. So it, it hangs on with that, but I don't think I want that anymore. I just want to keep this. And figure out a way to make the rocks look like they're protruding out. And that, actually this is going to bother me too. That needs to be a little bit more steep. I like the way that that actually looks right there. But I need to make it a little bit, yeah. Yeah, bitch, yeah. Yeah. So we need to figure out fucking shit. 
So now I do want this rock down here to look like it's protruding out a bit. Not too much. Should I have like a... Just a little bit more deviations in it? Or... It's like, uh, no, I think, actually, I think the flatter rock looks the best. The flat rock up there. It looks the best out of all of it so far. Change it up a little bit. Might just make it a little bit thicker up top. Mm, I don't like that. <laughs> All right. Uh, fuck. Thinking is hard, guys. Thinking is hard. I'm gonna keep that going down there. So it can be continued on down there. It's gonna, excuse me, it's gonna need to look kind of flat. Get some perspective into it. But I want something back here in this area. That's why, like, I have, so I have that. I have that river. I don't need that river anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and bring back the search. I wanted to bring in a deer or a wild animal of some kind. Like I wanted a full-blown, like a doe. A doe. Hopefully there's no horror-based stuff in here because, you know, Jane Doe, shit like that. I wanted some kind of doe to be in it. I want to get the basis of like its anatomy. So I can use it to my advantage. Because I don't want to use something like this. I don't want to, I don't want to use a generic pose of it looking at something. You know what I mean? I hope you guys know what I mean, even though there's no one else in here. It's just me talking to myself. Probably the most I've talked in, my, in any of my videos in a long ass time. Who fucking knows? But, oh. Oh. That's a deer fucking. And those are man tits. Oh, see, John Doe. Well then. I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> so I want to be able to find something at least. Me too, bitch. I like that a lot. But flipping it is going to be hard. I can just, let's see, copy image. Let's bring this bitch out back over here. Get over there. There we go. There we go. Uh, edit. And let's paste this. And then layer. Layer. Transform. Let's flip horizontally. All right, now we can layer, transform, shift click. So that should be able to, let's uh, actually, let's crop this bitch out real quick. Corner of the ear, go down here, boop, edit, uh, fuck. Let's just cut this out, delete this layer and then paste it in, like a good person would. So now we have a pretty decent, we have a pretty decent, uh, what's it called? My pen go, oh, there it is. A uh, reference for this deer. So I do like the way that, it, that it'll be looking, because I want to have it to where it is... Let's grab this tool. To where it's sitting over here, but it's smaller. So, so it's, it's, it's going to be in the background, so it's going to be a lot smaller. Choop, 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 you know? You know what I mean? This, is, this isn't a circle animation. But, you know what I mean? It's going to be back here, peering at this bitch. So we're going to be using that to see how we can do... How well we can do this. Animals are easier to draw, in my opinion, at least. So I'm trying to... 
I want to implement that into this because this this is a wildlife scene. I want to be able to use it for something. But I think let's see. Let's let's just rough it out because I want it to be back here. So I want it to to take up. Let's put this down to about nine percent. I want it to be around this area. I want it to be around this big. I want to show perspective and depth in this image. I'm going to drag this down there so I can see where my lines are. Up, oh, up, oh, there we go. Yep, I did it. Okay, cool. I want it to be back here in this area. And then only have it that big. So I need a time to go to work. Let's figure out how I want to do this. It'll give some forced perspective as well if I draw it like that. So if I have it, tiny little deer head sitting over here. I just want to give a somewhat sketchy look to the deer. Just enough to where you can, I can get the uh, base details of it or the base, the base. Uh, feeling of the deer. Small strokes, small strokes. So I want to be able to use this at least. Drawing on a flat canvas is so fucking hard. Cause like, I don't wanna, whenever I draw things like this, I don't want to I don't want to tilt the image at all because I want to make sure that I'm getting it as good as I can. Let's uh, transform. Let's go let's rotate this a bit. So I can get I can get the general idea of the of the animal, but I just need to get the line. I need to get an action line of this. And down from here, I'm drawing. Excuse me, bitch. There's still, a, there's still a selection of uh, fucking shit. <laughs> I could have that line drawn like five times. No, that's the wrong. Undo that bitch. You can't see it, but there's an undo thing popping up whenever I'm pressing a button on my drawing tablet. <laughs> so I need to do something like that. That's that feels right. That feels right. And then I need to have the neck up here. Connect off into the body. The neck down here is going to continue down into the rest of the body. For the breastplate. And then the shoulders are going to be up there. So I want to circle those off. I want to Make sure those are getting off somewhere here. So it's like shoulder blades and muscles goes down into the leg. And doop doop. Oh, that was a little too high. There we go. There's that one. Okay, okay. A little bit, little bit lower. So a little bit lower there. Uh, okay, eraser. Go down. This go down to the hundred there. Erase that bit. Get out of here. So I wanted to be able to. Get the same angle on this. So now it'll meet down here instead of further up and the rest of the book. Now I'll change it to give the, get, get the angle of the body right. So then I can just do doop. So that's about the Let's see, about a inch and a half on that one, and about half an inch on that. So about half. I'm trying to. Looks like I'm trying to half the entire image that I have. So I want it to be up high like that. And maybe that'll look right. I don't fucking know. I'm just <laughs> just going along. Going along with what I see. Get get that muscle in there. Work it, girl, work it. And then the leg will just pop up back here. So then now I have 
Mm. <laughs> I need to change the way this looks. I need to have this going up like that. That's better. If I can just take that and draw in where like everything's going to be with some thick ass lines. So it's going to be like that. So I can just, just make that not visible anymore. So I'm going to have that up there now. I can move this. I can move this layer, or I can just uh, erase what's in it. Turn up the opacity a bit. Come on, turn, turn up the opacity a bit. So now we have the base for that. I don't need, I don't think I'll need any more, any more references. So we'll just go ahead and uh, do whatever with that. Let's see. I need to check around some shit right now. See if uh, everything's going good. Oh, Noisy got it. Wish you were here, Noisy. Yeah, shit. Come and talk to me. Oh, that's not... Okay, Facebook needs to fuck off. So I need a... I need to figure out a... Horizon line. For this image. So I'm gonna use... Actually, I'm gonna use a lower opacity... One of the uh, thirteen percent for the for the for the trees in the back, maybe, maybe like sixteen or seventeen. So I want to have where's my line tool at? I don't have a line tool for this, do I? I don't. So I need to be able to. Do I have a ruler? I don't have a ruler, do I? Well, fuck. Uh. I don't have a ruler, so I need to improvise. Let's zoom out, zoom in a little bit, lower that. So I want to be able to use this. I'm going to use my case for my freaking glasses for the horizon line. I want the horizon line in the last two thirds of the image. So let's go ahead, there's a hair there. So let's go ahead and do a horizon line. That seems kind of weird. I can't tell that's straight or not. It's not. Undo that bitch. Maybe just a little... Yeah, like right there should be fine. Make sure I'm lining this up right. Make sure it's all straight. Bitch, you straight. Is it though? Looks like it. All right. Now this side over here, we don't need to worry about. So let's just erase that bitch. Cause that's where it's curving. My shit isn't is completely straight. Oh fuck! I can't believe you've done this. All right. Let's find something else. Uh, fuck. I might have a deck box. It's probably as straight as it's going to get. Everything else is fucking gay. <laughs> so let's go ahead and test. That. It needs to be a little bit smaller. That's a little bit too small. I still want to be able to see where I'm going to be drawing this. That looks pretty good. Wait. Don't you fall? You're a fucking non-slip deck box. How, why are you doing this to me right now? I'm trying to use you as a straight edge. What the fuck? Okay, that was weird. Oh, come on. It's doing that now of all times. Hold up. Fuck. I need to configure my tablet. Uh... I forgot how to do it. Should you look at that? Uh, fuck. 
options cancel I don't remember how to configure this I need to look up other options my uh Uh, my uh, my pen is reading my second screen has my uh yeah fuck that that's not that's not what I needed but it's reading my second screen as my 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 uh oh calibrate motherfucker which it probably won't come about now. It does come up. I seem to calibrate this bitch. Ha! Got it. Got it. We're good. We're Gucci. I can't even see. It didn't do anything. Fuck. Fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, because I'm on fucking eraser. Motherfucker. <laughs> I'm so fucking dumb. Oh, my God. I messed up with that one, too. It's, 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 it's going to bother me if it's not perfect. I want to make sure the horizon line looks good. There we go. That's better. I need to put this deck box back up. So let's go ahead and exit out of that. And then you guys, should, so when I was zoom in, hopefully you guys can see that. I don't know how well it should, oh, and it shows up pretty well on the fucking screen. Never mind. This is, that's where I want, want my horizon line. That's where I want the majority of trees to start showing up. So like we're going to go, it's like say if you go by the rule of thirds. There are three, uh, there are th nine sections to a drawing, and uh, you have different points, like, so like you have your first section, your third section, your first, second, and third section, where my main focus is going to be in my third section, so the farther away right it is, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be my, my third column, but it's going to take up the entire third column and the, the last part of all three rows. So I just need a. So I just, I'm gonna make sure that, that my composition is is okay, because I ugh, art concepts escape me. Now I just want to have some kind of tree stuff here. So I want to go ahead. I want to go ahead and uh, delete that layer, that one that we had, that I had before for color, because so I want this. From the more I keep doing, the more I'm doing this, the better off. The more I like it. So I want to figure out everything I want to do with it. I want to figure out like what kind of trees I want to use and a whole bunch of other shit. Basing out the comp the composition of a drawing is the first part to getting a drawing done. The very first part. I went way too ahead and uh, did a full drawing that I'm basing this image off of, which isn't a good thing to do. I mean, you can, you definitely can, but it's harder to work off of a quote unquote half finished piece than it is to work off a of blank canvas. It's like, I would have rather, like if I, if I would have known I was gonna be making this into like a play mat design, I would have done this differently already. I already know I would have done this differently. I would have chosen. I would have probably. I probably would have chosen a different composition. I wouldn't have had her sitting on the edge of this mopey, grassy area. That's just on the other side of this river. It's like a really small section of a river. I wouldn't have done that. I would have had it look completely different. I would have had her like in like in a lake or something. That's just, it's just how my mind works. I don't, I don't think of doing a f full drawing 
until I have the a character in my head or a focal point of some kind already drawn, already down, already drawn, or whatever. That's just me being dumb. But the other thing is, if I have a deer in there, then it's automatically centered around spring. And that's when the deer will start to come out. At least here, anyway. I don't know. I don't know the freaking the uh, <laughs> the fuck is it called? The uh, behaviors of deer in other countries. Other countries have elk. Fuck. That's your deer for you. Elk and moose. Meese. <laughs> fucking dumb. I need to <laughs> shit. I need to shut the fuck up. Uh, fuck. So I wanna, I need to figure out, so I wanna add some flowers to her horns. Uh, spring blooming flowers. Cause there are a lot that I can do. It's like, let's just go to images real quick. Like pansies. Pansies are, pansies would be good. These are, these are pansies. Right here. Not very good at botany, so don't judge me for knowing something. For well, I'm no, no, I don't know what the fuck I'm saying anymore. But like tulips, I don't want to add tulips because they're too generic. I want to add something that's gonna have this gonna be vibrant and make her stand out against the background. Cause the the background's gonna be, I want her to stand out against the background and the and the mid ground. The foreground is gonna be standing out either way because it's gonna be darker in general. But I want it. I don't want, to, I can't have bunches of flowers either, which is what's really throwing me off. Cause like, th these are going to be really good. These will, these, these will look nice. This will look nice, but like, that's a lot of fine detail to go into a really small flower that you're going to barely be able to see. Like, this will stand out very nice. And I'm very indecisive about things like this with drawings in general. Drawings, figuring out what I want to put in, that's too flamboyant. I don't want I don't want bunches. I don't want anything like this, like these tulip, like this these tulips. I just want something that's gonna stand out vibrantly against the color of the horns. The horns are gonna be like a are gonna be brown, obviously. Have some they can be a lot of mixes of brown, but I want. I want those bright flowers. That's not going to. That's not a part of the uh, color palette. It's gonna be a lot of greens, a lot of yellows, a lot of browns. So I want it to stand out enough to where it'll make her stand out. Cause her horns are already. Her horns. Are, her head is already going to stand out against the uh, back. The the background. Cause the horns are going to be darker than the background. You're going to have some like faded trees. Uh, let's do an example. Let's do an example. Let's uh, let's keep that up, and let's do like a forty percent opacity. So so our horizon line is going to be, let's say our horizon line is going to be this color. So let's go ahead and pencil, let's go to five hundred. A yeet. So we're going to have this as our horizon line, and this is all going to be that. So this, this is how this is how bright the background should be. It doesn't need to get brighter than that, but I want to make it lighter. I want to add a yellow to it, a lighter yellow. I'm gonna go up, not to the side, and I want to lower the density of this to like a forty, to like forty percent out of a hundred, so that whenever you, that's oh shit, I need to press down a little bit harder. So when I have this going on in the back, coming through, I want to have it over here as well. So like it's going to come in through the trees. Through the trees, I will find you. It's so like I want to have like a tree here. That's a little bit too light for me. No, actually that, that might be just fine. So I want to add like how like bigger trees in front. 
over here. Yep. And then behind, we'll have like the smaller trees or whatever. And then with the brighter colors and the lower density. So you can, no, that's a little too bright. So you can, so I'll probably start with the, with the lighter trees in the back first and then go through it. But I want the background to be able to shine, like some of the light to shine through. So I'll probably do the back, like background completely first and like have like a darker color in the, down on the bottom to where it'll f also frame that green over here. So maybe I'll use an airbrush for this. So I'll clip it to 500. So I'll use that. Let's take off the spreading noise. So I'll use that back here and over here to really try to frame it. So I have a good idea of how it's going to be looking in general. Because this around and then let's say adding it's a little bit lighter tone to that. Can really hide the fact that I'm trying to uh, to frame the pit to frame the image so I don't know how well it's gonna look to you guys it looks kind of fine but like it's just the way that it's looking I might need to do a cooler so like I can see let's take this so let's see filter hue and saturation so let's take this down here and let's move it find a blue yeah I like it better like that. So like I'll use a more of a bluish green. Keep it cool. Keep it cool. Cooler. I want to. I want to be more on the cooler spectrum of it, so that let's see what it looks like full color. Mm, no, let's keep it. Let's keep it down right there for now. It looks nicer like this. <laughs> but uh, I'll go ahead and find a way to make it look. Like this, all foggy. I might just do an overlay for it on Photoshop. I don't know yet. But I, I need to have a... I still need to figure out the freaking flower shit. But I wanted to stand out against that. I want a nice, bold color to stand against, to stand against it. I don't want anything like this. That's just going to make it... It's, it's, like the middle is just going to look like a, a, white, a white splotch. I don't want that. So that's not what I want at all. I want, mm. I do like the way that looks. Actually, that's, that's I was using, I was thinking of purple flowers in general. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six petals total. Let's see. Pencil. Let's go back to here. Let's hide this. Let's hide this one. Uh, that's too small. So let's see. Let's make another layer for this. So it's only gonna have six petals. It's gonna let's see, start down here. That's ah, still green. Fuck. 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 So let's start down. Let's uh let's hide that, that, and that real quick. That I haven't even used yet. Fuck. So let's say we're gonna start down here at a make a base. Let's make a base. Petals are going to come from that. So it looks like it's going to come up like this. A little bit wire at the top. I was like, it's probably, probably going to be hidden by another petal. So let's go ahead and take this and erase this bitch. This will be a little bit more of a fatter petal. It's going to look fatter at least. Because of perspective. We know how that works, right? We all learned that in school, I think. Probably didn't. I did. <laughs> I didn't. I actually didn't learn it in school. I taught myself most of the shit I know for, for art. Anything art related. So that pedal looks fine. This one doesn't. So I want to change the way it looks. I want to make it shorter a bit. So it's going to meet up right here. And then this one is going to come out. Stand up. 
Fuck. Uh, I don't like that. Back one more. Just want to figure out how I want to make it meet. So it's going to be up here. Down through here. So then it'll meet up back around. Okay. And then we'll have one more pedal right here. That's actually, let's go back a bit. Let's lower the opacity of this, create a new layer. So we can see where we're going to be putting this one. That's too much. So I want to be able to get an idea of how I want these pedals. Because these ones look fine for the most part. See, they're, they're like Frito scoop shaped. <laughs> so I want to figure out how I'm going to be doing that. So that would mean that pedal looks kind of weird. So let's try this again. Let's try this again. Let's try this again. Let's try this again. Uh, let's. The. So small pedal. Or small looking pedal at least. But really. It's a Frito scoop. It's a fucking Frito scoop. I don't like that. Uh. Fucking Frito scoop. Can't fucking believe that. Let's uh let's pull this up somewhere else. Let's pull up let's pull this up. Let's pull this up, pull this up, pull this up, pull this up. Let's move this over here so I can at least see it. Get an idea of of how their flowers are doing this bullshit. Who the fuck would want to be a Frito scoop? So it looks like they're taking a long road over here. Let's just do this hastily. Get an idea of it. They're going to close off up here. It's going to be a little bit more steep like that. But it looks like off of that, we're going to have our second pedal come in. Like this? It's going to come around. Okay. Let's look at a straight shot down from there. So, so it's bulbous. Yep. So it's trying to do something like that. That's what, that's what it's trying to do. It's up here. It's turning into a fucking Frito scoop again. Huh. It's trying. Oh. Fucking Frito scoops, bro. I might have to go back at some point and relearn botany in some way because this is getting this is terrible. It's hard. It's hard to draw. <laughs> Let's see. Tell me what kind of flowers these are, you dumb bitch. Any idea? Okay. Purple crocus. Alright. Uh, 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 purple crocus. Alright. So they're oh I like yeah, I like these I like these ones a little bit more. They're kinda like a fuchsia. They're snow crocus. I like the way they look a lot more. You know what they fucking remind me of? Let's see if I can find it. Reminds me of this bitch. Black Lotus from Magic the Gathering. That's what it reminds me of. It's it's a newer art. Because it has this, the, the, the older arts over here. Like this. That's what it reminds me of. And I like that a lot. I like the way it looks. I'll have to go back in at some point 
have this up and then figure out what I want to do with that because I like the idea of this so far. I like this a lot so far. I just need to, I need to think of how I can implement it. I'll have to do this off stream so I can actually think about what the fuck I'm doing. Cause I can't think. It's probably cause it's five o'clock in the morning, but that's a different fucking story. But I do know that I want, I think I have the basis for everything right now. Let's see. Let's go ahead and go back to the yellow real quick. I want to see what I can do. Let's go back to this layer. Go to the airbrush. Go to the 80. Let's go to 300 real quick. So y'all can yoink. I like it. It'll give like some kind of backlighting. So like I can have that and have like some kind of detail on the trees over here. So like whenever I sh whenever it shines light, I can also have some kind of light shining on the other side of her. Just thinking out loud now. I think that's what I want to do. I'm going to keep this up. Come back to it another time. That's what that's what artists do. We come back to it another time and hopefully we'll, we'll have it figured out by then. No promises. None at all. But maybe. Maybe. Yeah, I'll come back to it later once I have a better idea of what I want to do with it. And I will update you you guys on it because I know it's been a while since I've streamed. I've not been the best men mentally the past couple weeks. Um, yeah, that's all I gotta say about that. But hopefully this will mark, uh, you know, being able to do more stream wise if you, if you guys like this at least because i know i know there's no one in here right now but i do like drawing quite a bit and i don't i've been neglecting it i don't do it as much as i should be doing and once i get the composition laid out i'll be able to sit here with you guys for hours on end and just talk and do art the entire time and you'll and I can have you guys here to see how it looks with color instead of just, you know, thinking about how it's going to look. I think the horizon line needs, needs to be lower now. Now that, I'm, now that I'm here and looking at it, the horizon line needs to be lower because that's going to be not enough. But the horizon line needs to be put lower. Well, you're going to get yourself visible, bitch. Oh, shit. What's the big dumb? Move it down here where it meets the uh, sandbar point. So that's going to be the new one. Let's go ahead and file, save as, save, yes. But yeah, I think that's going to be it for now. I'll uh, go ahead and get an idea, what the fuck? Get an idea of what I want to do with it. Figure out what I'm doing. And, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and get it figured out. Figure out, figure out a color palette and figure out what I want to do with it. But, uh, thank you guys for stopping by, if, even though you guys didn't. If you guys are here afterwards, thank you anyway. Uh, and I will see you guys in the next one. Yay! Yeah,